Gonna do a little review of the Portland 14 inch, the Portland 14 inch electric chainsaw. There's always something going on on Grandpa's farm, a place where you're always welcome. Come on, Lily, let's go feed. Hey kids, all right. Today we're gonna have a little fun. I bought cheapest little chainsaw, electric, <laughs> at Harbor Freight. It's got a Oregon blade on it, made by Portland. It's a 14 inch electric chainsaw has a little window here so I know that my bar oil is adequate two prong plug ungrounded little lock for the trigger so you can lock that in position now I just locked it and uh, anyhow cool little cool little saw does not have a chain break but interesting little tiny saw. So we're going to do a going to do a little review of the Portland 14 inch, the Portland 14 inch electric chainsaw. Got a tree to cut down, as you can see here. This tree is dead. All the branches in it dead. It's an old apple tree. So we're going to plug in the old Portland and see how it works. Now. You see, well, I think I got you guys aimed correctly here. There we go. So what you do with this is you make a loop. You make a loop in your cord. You insert that through. And you get it on that hook. There you go. Get it on that hook. And what that does is it stops your cord from being able to be pulled out and removes all tension off of the connection. There we go. And now it's locked up. So, what you have to do is you have to hit this button and then hit the trigger. And away you go. So let's see how she cuts. You know what? Not too bad. Not too bad. There we go. Ah, beginning of our pile. And of course, right on top of the power cord. And you know, that's the problem. That's the problem with electric saws is power cord management you know you got everything piled up now right on top of the cord now let me get my cord all moved in oh you got your ball did you get the cord all moved in let's go for the next section You know, really, that's not half bad. I'm, I'm impressed. I have to admit, I'm kind of impressed. For a little electric saw, rather impressive. Okay, I'm gonna drop this branch right on top of the camera. Alrighty then. Let's see here.
Now anybody that knows me knows that I am a tried and true steel fan. I gotta admit, this cheap little saw from Portland is pretty amazing for the money. Let me finish cutting this up. then got plenty of got plenty of oil Wowzers. go pretty wild There you go. Well, okay, there you have it. Reduce that tree to rubble in no time at all <laughs> with a little Portland electric 14 inch chainsaw. Um, I'm really, uh, I'm surprised actually, to be honest with you. I'm kind of surprised. I would not have thought this saw would have had enough power to do much with that tree and that bottom stump probably 12 inches across. That's nothing great. I mean, you know, from a chainsaw, that's 
pretty small, but wow. I'm rather impressed with that, kids. Let's take a look at uh, what we're dealing with here. That's what we cut up. That's exactly what we cut up. We uh, got those branches there to clean up. I got all the big stuff cut into firewood. Got a few branches out in the yard to uh, put into some... Uh, uh, I'm going to build some Google culture. Google culture, Google culture, however you say that. I'm going to build some raised beds. And that's going to go into raised beds. So. I got to admit, kids, I'm rather impressed. You know, this uh, little 14 inch Portland saw, very cheap. Got this from uh, Harbor Freight. Bought it at Harbor Freight. I needed to get a little chainsaw to clean up some stuff in the yard here. Uh, in Johanna's yard and did not have you know hundreds of dollars to spend uh, this was very very cheap very cheap little electric saw frankly I thought it was a toy I thought it was you know probably going to be garbage and I was going to hate it but <clears throat> I could see some real application for this you know uh, using this for trimming out walkways and stuff trimming up around the house uh, landscaping tree trimming you know working on fruit trees and stuff doing some trimming um, even in a little carpentry where sometimes you know a chainsaw is just the right thing to cut off at the post top or something like that I have to admit I'm kind of impressed with this it's a, a 120 volt 9 amp 60 cycle 14 inch electric chainsaw and I, I no doubt it's made in China I don't see anything where it says where it's made from nothing on the label it has sort of a goofy uh, grip system here so when you know you dig in and you pivot on a piece of wood it doesn't get a real good grip but it did get some it did get some so it was effective in that regard it has an easy way of tightening the blade so you can uh, you can tighten the blade up when you get a little blade wear has a little two cycle or, or uh, bar oil fill spout for adding bar oil on the top has a little display window showing you your level in there make sure you've got plenty in it Pretty impressive little electric saw. Got to admit, I'm really impressed. Anyhow, I hope you liked this review of the Portland 14-inch electric chainsaw by Harbor Freight. But guys, pretty cool little saw. It really is. You know, I've, I have farmed, ranched, heated with wood. I've heated with wood for the majority of my lifetime. I've gone through numerous steel chainsaws. Dog, shut up. Yeah, I'm sure I can, but I'm in the middle of doing a video here. Just give me a minute. That's Doug. We got some more work for the we got some more work for the Harbor Freight 14-inch electric chainsaw. So anyhow, kids, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have more for you later. Be good. Be careful. Talk to you later. Bye. Well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all sure make them happy. Hug a mug of toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in Zay mouth. I be a toad sucker knowing to duck it. You just find an old toad and you rare back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.